Well, today we're going to be installing a snorkel on the OBS Chevy. I picked this up off Amazon for like 80 bucks, and it's the T80 um, snorkel. It's for a Land Rover, Land Cruiser, Toyota, I don't know what they're called. And we're going to see how well it does today. Uh, here's all the little bits it came with, everything I need. I looked online, I saw a couple other videos, and they seemed to work pretty well. The only issue people had was just the angle that the snorkel came up once they were done attaching it. I think all I'm going to do is just use a heat gun like they did and hopefully bend it over. But other than that, this should be a relatively easy job as long as I measure everything properly. And knowing myself, I usually just measure once, cut once. But today I'm going to measure about 35 times because I don't want to mess this up. As you can see, this is the nicer side. The other side's got a few dents in it, but we're working on that. But stacks were the first thing, headache rack, all that kind of nonsense. Next is the snorkel, and then right now I'm waiting for a lift kit to come in, and that'll be in the next video, is installing a six inch lift off of this. And I got that from Rough Country. It was the K2500 lift. And hopefully that comes in in the next week or two, and we'll install that too. But for now, we're gonna do the snorkel. So I'm gonna have you guys attached to my plate carrier the whole time. That way it's a bit easier because I'm just one man. I don't have a tripod or anything like that, and I'll do my best to edit it. But normally I just slap the video out there and y'all can enjoy. So at least this way you'll see all the issues I had and more or less a realistic version of it, not a bunch of the uh, stuff that makes it look stupid edited out because like I've warned everybody, I'm an idiot. So I'm not saying I'm an expert nor anything. So don't do what I do. I'm probably doing everything completely wrong. At this point, it's just entertainment. Watch a dumb redneck do something he thinks is smart. Okay, first things first, we're gonna be taking all of the parts. We made sure we had everything already. Where's the stencil is right here. I'm gonna take the stencil, get it properly up. Already got kind of a rough area circled right here. Uh, and then look and double check, triple check, quadruple check and make sure everything looks good. And then start drilling. So this isn't bad. So you can see right now, this whole reason I'm doing this is because when I'm off-roading out here at the dunes, all the water just shoots straight up into the wheel well right here. And this is where your air comes in. It literally comes into a fender right here. And so I figure, well, why not just get a snorkel? That way I'm less likely to get hydro locked out there. Not to mention, what I've heard online is when you have the snorkel on there, this acts like a supercharger in a way. Not like pushing air in, but when you hit the throttle, this is full of air. So instead of it just trying to pull out from this little this little area right here and pull as much air as it can and struggle with the filter, you've got a whole jet of air ready to just get sucked in immediately. So it gives you an extra bit of boom immediately. That's what I've been told and what I figure and what I kind of have been led to believe. So to me, it increases the performance. Plus, during the winter, you're less likely to get water and all that kind of shit. And during the summer out here, it's so dusty less likely to get dust all up inside your engine. So what's nice about this is you see how, oh, it comes at an angle. Well, no, bam, it comes straight across, which is perfect. And there's enough room here. I could build a box in right here eventually, or just buy an aftermarket one right here that seals off of this. But for now, I'm just gonna run this in right here, come through here, and then it comes with this. And so I can do something like that. And if you want to know the truth, there's no air filter anyway. <laughs> I took it out because it was covered in crap and I need to buy a new one. But take this out. Or not. I wanted to take it out. Stubborn. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's off. Stick that on the quad so I don't lose it. I don't know if y'all can see, but. That's all oil right there, some blow-by. I think I gotta replace this. 
So I have no idea what it does. I'm not a mechanic, so I just YouTube it, figure it out from there. But this is the 6.5 diesel. And thinking, give you guys a better look. I'm working with, I don't even know what's in there yet. I'm just gonna let you guys see. So I gotta do something here, come straight into here. For now, I'm just gonna get this cut. But what's nice is it's per it's literally, like I said, look at that. That's perfect, right? Right, right there. I think that's good. I don't think I wanna, guys, let's see. So there's like two inches of space here. So this literally will come down right across the t this little lip right here. And that'll be perfect because it'll match the angle from this. So yeah, see, his lip will come down and then it'll match the angle of this perfectly. It'll be a bit of a gap under here, but I looked online and people just fill it with foam and then they shape it and then they just call it good because who gives a shit? It's an off-road rig. Like, comes up. Okay, let's say that's there, right? Can the door open? Bam, look at that. Boom, door opens. Because the door opens out in a weird way, so it doesn't even move in. So let's see that again. Bam, look at that. Perfect. I might not even need to... That looks straight, to be honest. Like, once that's on there, that looks pretty straight. Oh, the one thing I forgot is a pen. It's all right. I can find, figure something out. Right into the paint. This feels so wrong. Can't believe I'm scratching my truck right now. Oh my God. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I don't mean to. This is for your benefit. It's gonna better both of our lives. Jesus Christ. Don't do what I'm doing. Warning, do not recreate or reenact anything you see or hear me say. I am what you would call an idiot. Nothing you see is done under the supervision of professionals. That looks good. I don't know why I just did that. Okay. that's just low enough to be below because you got to remember right here there's this lip right so you got to make sure you're just low enough to get the tube underneath it so Oof. just barely i measured it with my finger okay here we go I am so nervous right now to be doing this. <sighs> oh, just bent the shit out of that blade. I scratched it right there, but look at that. Nice. Rookie mistake. Fucking fix that. Not even two seconds in, and I've already messed something up. Watch the blade snap go into my finger. Use the old hammer. Good enough. I thought this just broke. I was like, what is my luck today?
working out, it should fit the blade. Hopefully. Now let me put the blade back in and make the most screwed up cut on the planet. to X's and just bend it in. I don't know how I feel about going up that high. I'm gonna go lower. No, don't bend on it. No, don't be ripping my paper. Whatever works, I guess, man. No one said it had to be pretty, and I'm never gonna sell this truck unless, unless never. Multi tool. Nope, 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 no, 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 no. Don't do what I just did. I just bent this a little bit. I'll do that. Okay, I'm just gonna do a circle. Okay. Something in here already? Like a piece of plastic behind here or something. Like heat shielding. I didn't even know that existed in here. Damn it. Damn it, the heat shielding bent my stuff. Damn it. Yeah, it's like this heat. It's like something, I don't even know what to call it. If you don't own one of these, buy one. Oh my god, it's so much better than sitting here trying to fuck around for 10 hours. Let me take my glasses off, I can't see shit. Let me not take my glasses off because I'm going to get shit in my eyes immediately, I bet. Okay, so. I'm not sure who all has had to deal with this, but there is this like soundproofing. Or maybe that's for the air intake. Oh, it is. That's the air intake. Okay. Huh. Weird. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. Okay, so far I got the hole cut out. I just gotta cut the hole in the back side out. These holes are all in. If they're if too high or low, I can just carve them out a bit and go up and down as much as I need because the snorkel hides a good chunk of all of this. So you got a few inches to work with. And so as long as I just pivot off this hole right here, I should be good to go. So the main thing is get this in and then work from there. All right, I was able to crudely get the hole in there. It works. This is what was in there. I had to stick the sawzall down in there and cut it in half just to get this out. It looks like this is a intake. I mean, look how much that cuts your engine off from sucking in air. Done with that. All right, now let's see how well this fits. Wow, that's perfect. Look at that, the edge comes over perfectly. Once I suck it in, I'm just taping this up for now because there's no bolts in it. Once I figure out how to get the bolts in and this thing sucks up, I mean, yeah, this is angled a bit. So all I'm gonna do is just hit this with a heat gun and just literally just push it back that way. And that should be enough. Literally just right here, hit it with the torch or the heat gun and then just slowly push pressure until it's even up with that. But so far, I mean, that's looking good. On the inside, comes out right there. That's not even sucked up yet. There's a little bit of a gap right here, but I mean, once it's all tight, tidied up, that's not a big deal. You won't even notice that. 
So what I did here was I found an extra bolt on my property that fit. I don't know what size it is, but these are a bit short. So I recommend going, maybe taking this to Lowe's and finding some long bolts. But what I'm gonna do is, because you can't get to these bolts from the side, what I'm gonna do is just take a drill, a gun, not a gun, but a drill gun, and I'm gonna drill holes right about where this, so if this hole's here, I'm gonna go on this side, unless there's already a hole. So already looks like there's a hole, but on that side, drill a hole right on the other side on here. That way I can reach through and I can screw it in with a uh, longer bit. So clean this up. That's the next phase. So once I get this all situated and tightened down, then uh, after that, oh yeah, I also had to move this hose out of the way. I went into the radiator just in case. I didn't want to accidentally cut a radiator hose. So, so I don't know if you guys can see in there, but there is, this piece of metal is in my way. I can't get to these that bolt right there. So I'm gonna have to drill a hole, which actually is a little bit bigger than the one that's already there. Drill through it, and then hopefully be able to get the bolt through and secure it enough because I'll be able to secure this bolt, that bolt, this bolt, this bolt, but these two I'll have to skip. There is a, you have to open the door and mount a uh, little frame or whatever it is here to hold it up right here too. So it'll be secure here and there. And what I'll do is when I take this whole panel and all the snorkel off and everything to repaint the whole truck, then when this panel's off, I'll actually attach the snorkel, get it all nice and, which honestly, if we're all gonna sit here and talk about, the smartest thing to do would be just to take this whole panel off, mount your whole snorkel on there, and then once you're done, slap your panel back on. 10 times easier. Maybe it's harder, I don't know. That's just what I think would be easier to do if you want to do it professionally, which is what I'll do eventually. But for right now, I'm just slapping her on there to get it to be functional, because the bounty hole's coming up in a few weeks, and I want to be ready for it. Right here, there is a hole you can get your arm into to get those two back bolts for the snorkel. So you can have every bolt connected as long as you drill through like I did here so you can have access to the bolts and you should be good to go and just pull this old crap out and throw it away. You don't need it anymore. You can see here, no gap up top, looks great. And it even clears my antenna for my CB radio. I got the intake for the snorkel to come up a bit, looks good. Now I just gotta get an inline air filter and I'll be good to go. Doesn't look too bad right here, as you can see. Not that much of an angle, but heat gun will fix that in a heartbeat, but it's too windy today, so I can't do that. And so once I hit this with the heat gun, I can then put this bracket on and then open the door. And like, as you can see now, it clears perfectly. No issues. And so what you'll do is you'll have to put a bracket right here and then screw it to here, but I gotta wait till the wind dies down but overall, I think it looks good. Let me double check, make sure I didn't leave any tools in here. And let's close it. All right, how does she look? Yeah, I like it, it looks good. Mainly about functionality, but, and you can barely, yeah, you can't even see it from this side. I'm talking about that part, but, and that doesn't look bad at all. Let's see. The main thing is that the snorkel, yep, part level with the roof. Nice. Exactly what I was going for. For 80 bucks, you can't beat that. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and you learned something or you learned what not to do. Stay tuned to the channel because the next stage for this vehicle is to put the six inch lift on once it comes in. I've never done that before. And so that's gonna be a fun one, especially having to just be a YouTube mechanic. But hey, that's what it's all about. And sorry about the wind, y'all. Anyway, take it easy, stay beautiful, and make sure y'all live every day better than the last.